Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about CSS counters. So let's get started. Basically, what I would like to do is using H1 and H2 be able to create something like this. So we have automatic numbering of where the sections start. And uh, so let me show you how to get started with this. So, so this is the original HTML we have. Uh, we can take a quick look and you can see we have an H1 first and then two H2s details and then H1 second and then two details under it. So that's pretty much what the HTML is and I'll show you how you can uh, get to uh, the numbering with CSS counters. So if I uh, take a look at the CSS I'm using, uh, I can uh, uncomment that CSS and I'll walk you through what it does. Basically at the boundary body, uh, we I'm creating a new counter called counter h1 and uh, counter reset essentially creates a new counter or resets its value. So that's, uh, so counter h1 will be tracked uh, for checking the h1s and similarly whenever I encounter an h1 uh, area that is the first heading, so we basically reset the counter h2 because we want to be able to count uh, again from that. Now we can use uh, some more CSS. Uh, basically, uh, before an H1, we are going to increment the counter H1, uh, which is what this is doing. And that's the second uh, CSS thing you can do. Uh, we want to reset the counter H2 because <coughs> that's what this counter H2 is doing. Actually, I could probably just remove this value instead of uh, just using it on the H1. And uh, we want to insert a content. So I'm inserting a content uh, you can use this function called counter uh, that's in, available in CSS counter it takes the value of counter h1 and going to print it and I'm just adding a dot something after that so that would be h1 before and h2 before uh, is going to be similar we increment the h2 counter and for the content I'm going to insert the value of counter h1 and then a dot then counter h2 and a dot so if you just make those changes let's see uh, what uh, we end up getting and uh, as you can see, we end up getting the desired result. These are uh, the sections, first, second, and then uh, you can have the details of 1.1 and 1.2, similar to what we expected. And if you look at the, uh, uh, the CSS, you can see H1 before we are incrementing the counter, counter reset, and all of that. So let's say if I didn't do the counter reset, and uh, actually it's going to be hard to do it and I will have to change it in the CSS but if we didn't do the counter reset you'll get as 1 1 1 2 2 3 2 4 all right uh, hopefully that is helpful to you if you want to create a structure like this if you want to know more and uh, check out some more videos you can just go to my website and search for CSS and uh, CSS related videos and other things thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day